Hi and welcome to British Ants. Here we're just doing a little test to show you all the different temperatures, six in all, that come off one heat mat. Uh, and just to make you aware of uh, the kind of thing that you're sticking your colonies on. Um, so we've tried a, different, a few different methods here. Uh, the heat mat itself is 24 centimetres by 12 centimetres. Uh, all the readings are different. Uh, we did have a competition which Daniel Bartlett has won, which was which one is giving the correct temperature, and he answered with the correct answer, which was all of them. They're all giving correct temperatures. Um, so that just goes to show you what one heat mat can do. So when placing your colonies on these, these are the uh, parameters you need to be aware of. Now we've put some on top of the surface of the sand, we've got probes within the sand, the sand on the left is dry, the sand on the right is wet. And it just shows you the distribution of heat that's coming from the bottom of that heat mat. We've set this trial up for an hour, uh, so this is the results after one hour. So the current room temperature is 23.7, so we can get rid of that now. So that's the temperature directly on the heat mat. Notice that when you increase the heat, that the humidity goes down. Um, so it's something worth bearing in mind if you've got a high humid species, that when you apply heat, that you're taking the moisture out of the air. And invariably it lands on the glass around. So here we have two readings from one glass. So the surface, so on the left we've got the probe that was in the sand, 27.3. Then we've got 24.9 was on the surface. Now this is 200 mil of sand and it's got a 5 mil thick bottom, which is on average um, standard thickness of most formicarium bases, um, albeit plastic. They range from 4 to 5 millimeters. So it kind of gives you um, an idea of the, the temperatures that are hitting the inside of the formicariums. It's also worth bearing in mind that these are open units, so the heat is escaping whereas most formicariums are sealed. So this is uh, the temperature in water. So we've got 72, and that's an external, because uh, we do see people sticking them on the outside of the formicariums, which is a little bit pointless really, because it's not giving you a correct temperature. And then the probe showed you the, uh, the actual temperature within that, and that's damp. So as I said, this was set up for an hour, so potentially leaving that, I would have expected that to warm up even more. Now that's 34.1, which is the temperature directly off that heat mat. So that probe was in contact with that heat mat. So, and obviously this heat mat hasn't got any thermostat on it. So that shows you the kind of heats you're applying. To stick a formicarium on top of that, you're easily reaching 40. That's a six leg twitching 40 Celsius. So here's a little try we did with the Habistat. Uh, this is one I've used in the past, a very reliable product. There are others out there. Um, so we thought we'd just pop a couple of test tubes on the edge. Again, this has been set up for an hour. We just thought we'd see uh, how these were doing. And this is a new test because I haven't trialed trial this out myself. So we've got one plugged with cotton and the other one which is just open. Just a matter of interest. And I want to see what the readings were for those being partially placed on a 5 watt, very small heat mat. So if we take our EpiPen, sorry, Thermapen, this is a very precise tool uh, to answer some questions. Yes, it is calibrated. It's made by a company called ETI and they're made in the UK. Quite expensive gadgets. So that's giving us a cotton reading of 28.6. Still very high. And it was only partially placed on there. About 1.5 centimeters on the actual heated part. To whop the cotton out of there and take a reading from this one. So again in contact with the cotton. Let's see what reading we're getting off of that. So we've got 27.5. So 
so interesting that one slightly lower now this one this heat map we have set up on a um, the thermostat the thermostat is set at 28 degrees and let's see what that's coming up with so the probe is touching the bottom of the, the unit and taking a measurement of 36.3 and now the, it's set to be at 28 but because we haven't put the probe in correctly it just shows you that that heat uh, or the power is still being applied to that heat map because the probe isn't in the correct place it needs to be which is at the bottom of that soil in contact with the floor of that uh, outworld but again this is just an example 37.6 So uh, gives you some worrying, worrying results. Um, I don't use the uh, heat mats. So there we are. That's the power still being applied. So the actual thermostat thinks that it hasn't reached that temperature yet because the probe is on the roof of the uh, formicarium. So it's only taken an air reading of 20, well below 28 because obviously it's still a, still trying to heat that formicarium up. Um, but there are things you can do. Um, we'd recommend uh, obviously not using uh, heat mats. I haven't used them for years. Um, but if you are going to use them, use them with a thermostat and just make sure that the probes are in the correct place. But there are some things you can do. Uh, here we've just put two uh, thermometers. One on the top shelf and one a bit further down. Uh, barely two foot away from each other but just by moving them, there's no heating on the shelf whatsoever, but just by moving them um, down, you've uh, reduced the temperature by over a degree. So in this hot weather, it does help to kind of lower the uh, formicarums just to uh, take any pressure away. Um, don't forget to comment below, as I said uh, earlier, we'll be giving away another mug and thermometer um, free of charge to the person with the uh, most liked comment below. So we'd like to hear your stories, uh, how you've got on with uh, your former care rooms and heating them or ventilating them at this time of the year. So uh, drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.